The wrong side of 50. What do I mean by that? You have your first 50 years of life if you're blessed enough to, to live those. And then you have the second half. Not that it's guaranteed that we'll live 100. So let's say post 50, after 50. When I say the wrong side of 50, what I mean by that is I've raised both of my children with my wife. We're empty nesters. I have a career. I'm closer to retirement than I am to starting my job or my career back in the day. For the record, I started my career in 1996 when I first joined the Air Force. There's a lot of things to think about being on this side of 50. And the first thing is health. When you're younger, when you're in your 20s, 30s, maybe even 40s, you, an individual may take their health for granted because they have it. Nothing aches, they wake up, they may have a hangover, but they get up and go and do it again or live their life to, at a fast pace. When you're, when you're older, for example, like myself, now that I'm 50, I feel aches that I never felt when I was in my 20s or 30s. And they're there, and I'm thinking, that is weird because I've taken care of myself health-wise. I've worked out. I have balance. And I've been blessed to have good genes as well, but at now at 50, I have aches, whether it's my feet, whether it's my knees, whatever it may be. When you are below 50, you are trying to figure out life, maybe in your 20s, at least I was. And then by my 30s, I was good. I had my career, I had my family, I knew what I wanted, I was making it happen, and it was a good career. And now that I'm in my 50s, I'm closer to retirement than I am doing something else. I'm seven, just under seven years from retiring from the workforce. When you're 50 or above, hopefully you have figured out your finances, your career, your family, a lot of different things. Hopefully, hopefully you've figured that out. And if you haven't, that's unfortunate because that's what your 20s are there for, maybe even your early 30s to try to experiment and do things and try to figure out what's best for you and your life. When I was in my 20s, I got married at age 24 and I figured out life with my wife. I figured out how to parent, how to do things, how not to do certain things. And I've been so fortunate to have my wife by my side for almost 26 years. March will be 26 years of marriage. And we figured out a lot, sometimes through trial and error. But we also succeeded at a lot of things the first time, and I was happy about that. I don't think that we're ever going to stop learning or we should ever stop learning. Life is like that. There's always something to learn and to make better, to improve. In my 50s, we are now grandparents, my wife and I, and that's a beautiful thing. Being a grandparent is so awesome. We travel a lot. We were in New Mexico two weeks ago, some hot springs out there for a few days. We're planning our next vacation, and it's a brand new year. My wife will be 50 this year. She's going to join me. And I had a conversation with her when I said the golden years sometimes is described as when you are retired and old. Maybe you can't do a lot. You may have a lot of money, but you can't do a lot physically. And I said to her, these are our golden years, which started early at age 50, maybe even 40s, because we've been empty, empty nesters almost coming up on six years this August. August 2022 will be six years. So that's maybe when we started our golden years by just having some family time, having some together time, having some travel time while working and living life. We are no different than anybody else, and we've had a really good life. I hope to be married many, many more years. Health is wealth. Health comes first. Of course, I'm a man of faith. My faith is at the top, and it's about just making those adjustments and listening and improving things, no matter if you're on this side of 50 or this side of 50. So where are you? Take an inventory of yourself, of your life, of where you are, 
of what you're succeeding at and what needs to improve, regardless of your age, whether you're on this side of 50 or my side of 50, because I can tell you this, tomorrow is not promised, it's not guaranteed, and I hope that because of that, and I know, not hope, but because of that, I live to the max. It's a quiet day here in Colorado Springs. It is January, and look how beautiful it is. It's just nice and quiet. I'm here by myself. I'm waiting for my wife to come home. Our daughter's coming into town for a few days. Make your day every day.